Knowing whether your new online course will be successful or not can be a bit of a stab in the dark. What would be really nice is to have some sort of evidence into the search volumes, what people are searching for, and the sort of revenue that you might be able to expect. If you've been looking for this information, you can find this using an Udemy tool. Obviously, this only has some validity for the Udemy platform. Within the Udemy instructor dashboard is access to a tool called Marketplace Insights. Type in a topic in the search bar that Udemy will accept and the data for a number of courses, revenue amounts, search volumes, keywords, and a collated group of courses that would represent your competition at the bottom. When I first saw this tool, my first question was how accurate was the tool? With one of my courses ranking as the top course, I now feel in a position to try and provide some evidence to determine the tool's validity. We have these parameters on the Marketplace tool, and I can only give some evidence for these parameters. Not everything, but it is something. First of all, a quick win in the comparison between the Marketplace Insights conversion rate and mine. The marketplace gives the conversion rate for the percentage of students enrolled who have visited the course landing page in the last three months. I don't exactly have this metric on the instructor dashboard, but what I can share is the conversion rate over the last month. So pretty close, being less than a percentage point in difference. I'd say this number is an accurate one to be working with if you're using it for predictions. Next, we can have a look at keywords where Udemy gives these keywords as the top most search keywords that lead to enrollments on my course. And the Marketplace Insights tool indicates the percentage of people using the keywords as part of the Udemy search enrollments. And when I do the maths, I get rather similar percentages, enough to be happy in using them for any course predictions as well. Furthermore, I find that all the keywords listed in the Insights tool account for about 80% of the search volume, giving some confidence that incorporating these words into your title, subtitle, and landing page will be worthwhile. I'd suggest that this is a good tool to use to optimize your courses and not just predict the success of your future ones. Finally, I can share my findings with respect to the revenue values. Searching on shape returns no value for the median, my suspicion is that the other two courses below have had some months of zero revenue, and therefore Udemy censor this data, as indicated in their hover tips on the page. We do, however, get top monthly revenue figures of around $150. Now this figure is described as the average monthly revenue for the top courses over the last three months, but not including the current month. The previous three months for my Onshape course resulted in this revenue, split into Udemy share, instructor share, and overall share. The overall share is what we need to compare. As you can see, the Insights tool shows values far lower than the data I've collected from actual sales. The mean average can skew results really badly in many cases, and that's what I think is going on here. I'd need to understand the revenue from the other courses to give further clarity on this, which isn't gonna happen. I think you might be able to use the numbers from the Insights tool to get an idea of what your course could do if you're in the top three courses, but expect better if you're the owner of the top course. Also remember that this value is not what you, the instructor, would get. My share as a percentage of the combined share is around the 21 to 24% range. So you might also consider multiplying that Market Insights figure by 23% as an indication of a top three course average instructor revenue. In an attempt to back this up, we can have a look at another of my courses, Engineering Mechanics, which is listed as a top three course in third place, actually. Now comparing the conversion rate shows the Marketplace Insights over predicts what I actually see. I see a conversion rate of about 1.8% over the last 30 days and just over about 2% over the last 12 months. So half of what the Insights value suggests. Comparing the top monthly revenue is an interesting one. For the last three months in this calculation, the Udemy and Instructor combined share was $573, $542, and $190, which averages to $435, very close to what the Insights tool suggests. So this kind of backs up what I was saying about this value perhaps being representative of a top three course. I admit this isn't conclusive, but I hope it has added value to your questions that you may have had about the tool. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video.